I knew that this year won't become a no-buy for me. After moving countries once again and settling in a new place, I needed to build a new home and most importantly to let myself feel more free and more empowered about all the changes going on in my life. I love the minimalist way of living, but I also buy things from time to time. And sometimes these purchases are well planned and sometimes they are not. They are accidents, although often very happy ones. In today's video, I'll share with you some things that I've recently bought or made and also share how each item reflects my personal intentions. Some of these things entered my life in December, some in January, and I won't follow any chronological order. I would rather share stories and reflections behind them. By the way, if you're new here, welcome. I'm Anna, and on this channel I make videos about minimalism, intentional and simple living, and personal adventures of a heavy-duty introvert. And if you're back, I'm so glad to have your company again. The first purchase that I'm sharing was an absolutely unplanned one and even forced purchase. Before we came to Tbilisi, we had to spend about 10 days in Belgrade, Serbia, in order to settle all our legal affairs, to close our business, to close our bank account, and so on and so forth. We had to make different <laughs> payments, a lot of payments, and so we just made sure to withdraw enough cash for all those payments, not to use card all the time. And we withdrew cash with some extra, so by the end of our adventure, <laughs> the planned adventure, we still had quite quite a substantial sum of cash, of course, by my standards, so we had about $200 worth of cash with us when we arrived to the airport and when we passed the passport control. We were pretty naive to think that there will be an uh, exchange, currency exchange machine there or at some point, because of course we had Serbian money in Serbian currency, but the only currency exchange machine that was there was broken. And we panicked, we didn't know what to do. Of course, we didn't want to risk and to wait to exchange that money in Turkey, which was our transit country, or in Georgia, we had no idea whether the dinars, Serbian dinars, will be accepted. So we decided that we would rather spend it on something that we might need. We rushed through the airport's stores that were still open because it was the 31st of December and many stores were not working and we found noise cancelling headphones for me. <laughs> it was kind of an unexpected gift and something that I wouldn't buy in normal life circumstances because it's just too expensive for me. But at that time it seemed like the best option. It's very high quality wireless noise cancelling headphones that now I use every day, multiple times and for long period of times. I use it for listening to the music, to podcasts, to books. I use it for cancelling the outside noises when I work or when I just want to calm down and slow down as a highly sensitive person. So I think it's just... it adds so much more comfort to my life. And I still use my old <laughs> and shaggy um, headphones with cords because it's just more convenient for me to edit you know, while wearing them because they have better synchronization. But yeah, this new purchase completely responds to my personal intention for this year to listen more rather than watch. And uh, I talk about this intention in more detail in the video that I will link up there. A new pair of pants has been on my wish list for a while and this purchase that I made was half planned and half not because 
I wasn't going to buy exactly this type of pants, which is corduroy and of a rather bright color. Before that, for several months, I guess almost half a year, I've had only one pair of pants and I still like them a lot, but I got tired of the super high-waisted and super cropped silhouette. I just needed something else to first cover my legs completely to feel comfortable during winter times. And also, as I'm a living person, my weight can slightly fluctuate and I needed just something roomier around my waist, but within some reasonable limits. And I found a great pair of pants at a very affordable price of a gorgeous color, 100% cotton, and I got them. I didn't thrift them. I bought these pants at a um, um, discount uh, kind of outlet store here in Tbilisi. There are many stores of this type here where you can find high quality, even designer clothes at a very, very affordable price. Of course, I prefer thrifting, but with pants it's kind of challenging for me because of my height. I'm pretty tall and my le legs length. So when I saw them, when I tried those pants, it was it's just a perfect fit and I'm glad I got them. And they also echo my intention to prioritize health and comfort. Together with the pants, I bought another item from my wish list, and it's almost an exact match. So I wanted a long sleeve of um, some beautiful, cool tone, more or less a neutral one, so that I can match it and wear it with everything else that I have at the moment. And this mock neck long sleeve was just perfect. I like the dark, dusty pink color. I think it's it suits me pretty well and I feel like myself <laughs> wearing it and it matches everything. I can wear it with my handmade vests, with my sweaters, with the pants <laughs> that I bought and with my old pants. So, and also the fabric is amazing. It's very soft and velvety to touch and that's why it ticks all my personal boxes of intention, that it's comfortable, that it's very, I don't know, soft and just enveloping me. Yeah, that, that's what I need from clothes right now, just to give me that very special feeling of safety and care. The next item that I bought was very sought after by me because I really have been dreaming of a new pair of high top sneakers for more than a year and I finally found them. I was looking at different styles and different brands but then finally got back to very obvious variant which is Converse unisex high top canvas sneakers just regular ones outside any special collections and the most affordable pair that I could find here and they're just perfect. They're perfect for my long and narrow feet and the high top construction gives me a lot of stability. I like the minimalist design a lot. It, again, they go together with everything, all my dresses and my two pants now and I will wear them during all seasons, that's what I planned. And now in winter, when it's it gets kind of cold on some days, I wear my hand-knitted wool socks inside and I feel perfectly warm. As for the intention that is reflected in this purchase, of course, it's a minimalist versatility, that I won't have to buy any extra pair of shoes anytime soon, because right now at the moment I have one pair of trainers, these sneakers and sandals, and that satisfies all my needs during all seasons. I'm sorry for the lighting, I'm filming this video early in the morning because it's the only time when it's more or less quiet now, so I hope you don't mind it. 
And I'm also so glad that I remembered one of the older lessons about shoes that I've learned 10 years ago, which was never buy shoes of very bright, not neutral colors. 10 years ago, I bought a pair of stunning bright yellow Dr. Martens and after the purchase, I wore them maybe five times or even less and then I had to sell them to someone who would love them more. It just turned out that in my wardrobe and I like wearing bright colors in my clothes, when I have bright shoes as well, it's just so difficult to combine everything together. So that's why now I try to get shoes of as neutral shades as possible. I am a maker and I love all my craft projects, but unfortunately I had to let go of uh, quite a few of my handmade clothing items when we wore it during our transitional time when we hopped countries and were nomads. So I learned a lot of lessons. I now know what I should make for myself and what I shouldn't, which models I tend to wear and which turn out to be not that useful in my wardrobe. And while I got rid of some of my handmade clothes, I still kept some of my yarn stash that I took along when we left Serbia first and moved to Romania for three months. And uh, this purple sweater that I'm showing you is one of the projects that I've finished recently using my stash yarn. It's very weightless, it has very functional and versatile construction, it fits everything, and it has an absolutely gorgeous color that I was so lucky to find. And I love this sweater a lot. Of course, it's not perfect, it has mistakes, because I'm not a very experienced knitter, but it's made for me and by me, and I think it's the most important thing. As for intentions, I'm glad that I followed my de desire, my wish to use the uh, yarn and all the instruments and tools that I already have for creating something new. And also it's a cool toned item and this year I want to wear more cool tones and yeah. I think this is it, so all intentions met. Another recently finished handmade item. This is a slipover or a vest or a top. <laughs> it's just very versatile and I use the yarn again from my stash that I've been carrying around the world for some time. And this yarn was, was kind of an impulse purchase from last summer and I'm so glad that I still used it and turned it into something functional and very wearable. I find that slipovers or vests are very much needed in my wardrobe. I wear them a lot. They are great for my style and also for my uh, individual thermoregulation. This exact model is for warmer days as it doesn't contain any wool. And yeah, I just like it. I think the color is the, the dusty violet color is kind of cool. And again, the intention was to use my yarn from the little stash and also to follow the cool tone rule. Brian and I have an inside joke that uh, we get a kettlebell wherever we are going to stay for at least uh, half a year. Last time when we lived in Tbilisi in 2016, we got a kettlebell and we got a second kettlebell in 2022 in Belgrade. So this time we decided not to follow our usual pattern and kind of uh, shake things up. 
so no kettlebell no kettlebells bought it's good but i still bought some sport equipment that i've been wanting to get for quite a while at this stage of my life i prefer to work more with my body weight and i got a foam roll for myofascial release and a pilates ball for mobility workouts together with my old thin yoga mat and an elastic band I have a perfect gym for very functional workouts. For this year, I set an intention to get my mental and physical stability and strength back, and these are amazing helpers. The last but not least purchase that I want to share with you today is a funny one. It's a convertible baby-sized blanket that we accidentally bought in Romania at a very cheesy kawaii store in a children's section. While we were traveling, I really dreamt of having some sort of a compact blanket in order to use at our short-term stays, because I usually need at least two blankets and two pillows to use just by me at night in order to sleep well. And most Airbnbs where we stayed at didn't provide those. <laughs> and it was a struggle for me just to have enough and uh, quality night rest. This blanket is of baby size and it has a very <laughs> childish design, although a funny one, I enjoy it a lot, and it can be turned into a pillow. I still use this blanket as a, a soft pillow for my chair, work chair, when I sit down and just write or make videos or just any type of the work <laughs> that I do now for making a living. And I just carry it around the apartment just to feel cozy and comfortable. And I think it absolutely meets my intention to nurture mental health. This helps me a lot, this purchase, this safety blanket, literally. <laughs> On this channel, I talk a lot about deeper subjects and share more thoughtful and complex content, but I'm a real person with my little everyday trifles, and hence I thought it would be fun to have a bit of a materialistic chat with you. I hope you enjoyed it, dear friends. Please feel free to share in the comments what items you've bought recently and why, in what way they met your personal intentions. It will be very interesting to know. Thank you so much for your time and attention and big thanks to everyone who supports me on different platforms and on Patreon, where I post more personal videos every week. Thanks to your support, this channel exists. And for now, as always, be safe and keep your heart open. And I will see you soon. Пока-пока!